In today's episode, we will be looking into the mesmerizing phenomenon of top-down traffic cascade, focusing on the case of otters and their ecosystem. Oh, where'd he go? Ah, ah. Ah, I'm beating you! Ah, no. <laughs> the otters have been an endangered species ever since their fur became a prized possession, as it is the densest, and thus the warmest, in the animal kingdom. Humans hunted them almost to extinction, which affected not only the otter population, but also their whole ecosystem. The traffic cascade of which they are a part was altered. Due to the low number of otters, the urchin population dramatically increased, since the otters were no longer consuming these echinoderms. In turn, the urchins feed on the kelp that grows at the bottom of the oceans. Because kelp can grow up to a foot every day, they soon create extensive kelp forests, which serve as nursery homes for juvenile fish. Kelp grows on holdfast to attach to hard substrates. Without it, the gas bladders will allow it to flow to the surface. Once this kelp is no longer attached, the current will bring it to the coasts, where it will be encountered by annoyed tourists trying to enjoy a nice vacation at the beach. An army of urchins is able to eat the holdfasts of multiple kelps, creating massive clearings called urchin barrens. They leave nothing behind. This type of traffic cascade is called top-down control because it begins with the top predator and affects every level thereafter. <laughs> 